Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, I gathered together a bunch of video clips that I had taken between the dates of October 20th and November 19th, 2013. I just took some random video of uh, the community of Garden Hill and different places on Stevenson Island in the Island Lake region in Manitoba. For a lot of the videos, I left the sound on and just let the wind hit the microphone just to give you an idea of what weather is like in this area. So by mid-October, usually there's snow and that's very typical for for us in uh, Garden Hill. Anyway, I was... Uh, I know I had promised another investigation video or more of investigation videos and pictures of uh, a strange occurrence that had happened with my cell phone. You know, that site investigation. Well, I went there multiple times. I took more video. I took more pictures. I still couldn't turn up anything. I tried to replicate the uh, strange photo, but I couldn't do it. When the weather begins to get colder, the water taxis will charge a little bit more for going across from Stevenson Island to the main island, which is Garden Hill. In the summertime, it's $2. Then they raise it to $3 and then to $5. And eventually, when it's really cold and dangerous to cross the lake, there's ice everywhere, they charge about $10. But it is very hard to get across and there's more of a chance of the boat going under. The lake looks pretty peaceful, but it's also very dangerous. When the lake water turns to ice, it doesn't freeze everywhere. The currents underneath the ice will create these openings along the shorelines in different places, various places all around the lake. And then it snows over them, and the snow sits on top of uh, water literally because it is that cold but there's you know not enough uh, the water isn't still enough for there to form ice above it or else it's just completely thin ice so as you're walking and you walk on top of this thin ice or just this blanket of snow you go in like quicksand and then you get sucked into the current you get dragged to the bottom of the lake you could wind up going for kilometers for miles just underwater being dragged by a current and they've even found bodies uh, as deep as 200 feet you know in the lake the lake itself is deeper than 275 feet uh, one of the rescue workers i should say uh, recovery workers who goes and looks for you know missing people that went into the lake has a underwater camera and the cable length is about 275 feet and that's as far as any piece of equipment to my knowledge has gone in this lake. We're at the uh, second last week of November here, and the ice hasn't completely frozen over yet, so it's not yet safe to walk across. As you can see, boats are still making it through the ice by driving on top of it and then just breaking it. I hope you enjoyed the different video clips that I have taken in Garden Hill and Stevenson Island. Thank you for your time.